Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a lesson on grade 4 geometry and spatial sense. And this lesson is actually two different lessons, or you can do it all as one. It's kind of up to you. Um, one is going to be on reflections, the other one on Cartesian coordinates. So without further ado, let's get into the lesson. Before we begin, I'm just going to read the learning goals for this lesson. So for geometric properties, by the end of grade four, students will draw the lines of symmetry of two-dimensional shapes through investigation using a variety of tools and strategies. And in terms of location and movement, students will identify and describe the general location of an object using a grid system, identify, perform, and describe reflections using a variety of tools, create and analyze symmetrical designs by reflecting a shape or shapes using a variety of tools, and identify the congruent shapes in the design. So, like I mentioned, there's kind of two different sections to this lesson. So the first being reflections themselves. So here we just have a note, talks about what reflections are, also about the central line or the mirror line. So you can just go through that note and then it actually gives, um, the note has instructions on how to do this if you were to draw a shape yourself and then reflect it over that central line or mirror line. Lastly, in terms of reflection, it does give some useful tricks in terms of how to reflect once you better understand how to do it. So my recommendation would be that you make sure your child understands how to do a reflection first before you give them the tricks, just so that they don't automatically uh, go to the tricks first. Maybe see if they can determine what those tricks are before you show them the tricks. Um, that would be my recommendation. And I will do that in part two of the video. So once you've gone through the note, it is a shorter note. Um, there's just a couple worksheets to do. There's one where your child will have to draw the reflected image. And then this one is a little more um, advanced. So going from this one to this one should be a natural progression. If it's not natural, that's fine. Um, you can just direct your child back to the original note that talks about how to reflect over the central line. So then your child will just have to do the actual reflection of the shape um, and rather than it being right on the line it's a little off the line so that's what makes this one a little more tricky so that is the first portion of the note um, and the lesson and the second goes over cartesian coordinates so those x and y coordinates so once again there is a note to go with this that talks about the x and y axis also about how you determine um, what is your x and what is your y when you're looking for your Cartesian coordinates and which one comes first and which one comes second and also talks about the origin and why that is important. So once that is complete, once again, there's another little worksheet. So your child will get this grid with all the different um, fruits and vegetables on it and they will actually have to write the ordered pair or the co Cartesian coordinates that connect with that. So for example, if we look at the pineapple, we find it on the grid and see that it is at 0.52. So our x is 5 and our y is 2. So when we would write it, we would put the 5 first and then the 2 in terms of those coordinates or our ordered pair. Now, once that is done, there's another game. Um, it's essentially Battleship. So if you have Battleship, feel free to use that. I have created one that you can use if you don't have the actual game Battleship. So what's gonna happen is your child will just draw four different lines on the grid like I did here. So we can see there's four different lines. One is five, units long, one is four units long, one is three units long, one is two units long. So your child can put those lines anywhere on the grid and then they actually will write out all the coordinates and ordered pairs where those lines sit. Now from there, they will need someone to play against. So either it could be a parent or a sibling or maybe you can get a FaceTime going um, with your child's 
friend and they could play the game against each other. Now that is where this one also comes in uh, more handy than if you're playing with the actual game battleship because maybe the person you're playing against doesn't have the actual game. So if you don't have battleship, like I said, feel free to use this, but if you do, you can use battleship. Now the um, coordinate system on battleship I believe is letters and numbers rather than just numbers um, but that is also fine it's it's more to learn about where things sit and how to read grids or a map so either way we are covering the learning expectations whether you use this or um, battleship so they'll take turns saying different coordinates against each other and then whoever hits all of the points on the lines first or sinks all the ships is the winner. Now the last activity, if you have time or want to do this later on, is your child will use this grid on the back of the page. They will draw the main floor of the house um, as an outline on the grid and they will go around and look at different objects in the house and they will actually write where those would be located on their own grid. So say your first floor has two bedrooms, a kitchen uh, and a living room. So they would draw that on the grid as it would be if you were looking from above and then they'll maybe go to the kitchen, see where the stove is and draw the stove on a point in the layout of the kitchen that they drew and then they would just say what the object is and the coordinates of that object. So that is everything for the lesson. Um, once they've done all those activities, that is it for the lesson. They've covered all the learning goals that I mentioned at the start and if you decide to break it up into two, just divide it right between reflections and the Cartesian coordinates. Um, so one day you could have them do the note and the worksheets for the one and then the second day notes and worksheet for the other. It's really up to you um, and how much time you have and what you want your child to cover. So I hope you enjoy the lesson and I hope you have some fun. Maybe get to enjoy a game of Battleship. I know Battleship is always one of my favorites and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for checking out the video. Lastly, remember to head to part two if you want me to teach the lesson and I will see you next time.